The people have spoken. Make the trade. My staff are yelling at me in the boardroom saying I can't pass up this opportunity. So, all right, as we sit here at the deadline, looks like we're going to go ahead and make that trade. And you guys are saying that for him to get really, really good, you got to throw him in the NHL immediately. I'm a little worried about that, to be honest, but <laughs> I guess I'll take your, I'll take your guys' words for it then. Um, I guess I'll throw him in and we'll see what happens. If he gets busted, then he gets busted. All right, so, all right, put him in there. We want to get this guy. He's almost 70 overall, but I don't know. Like, I feel so weird about playing. Can I freaking... I won't let me click on him from here? What the hell? I don't know. Sometimes it lets you, like, click on their player card from there. Sometimes it doesn't. So I'll click on it from here. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> playing him in the NHL immediately just seems so weird. Like, he's just, de he's just bad. But I I'm going to take your guys' word for it, okay? If you guys are saying that... His trade value is worrying the shit out of me, though. Like, how it's, how low it is? Whatever. If you guys are saying play him in the NHL immediately, that's what we'll do. So, we'll see what happens. All right, so, now there's two choices. We could t trade Tanev. Now, someone was saying to try to trade Goodbranson for him and, like, something extra. I don't know if Goodbranson would work. I mean, it would kind of make sense. Tanev is a spot filler. But, at the same time, Goodbranson doesn't have a whole lot of value. And although he's elite potential, I don't think he'll get much better. They're both defensive defensemen, but I'd rather have a defensive defenseman in the uh, top four. But on the other hand, Tanev could just play in the top four. But as he declines, we won't have any value for him. Hmm. He's really freaking good defensively, man. I don't even want... I don't think I want to... You, everyone's saying he drops off, but I don't know. Maybe I'll rather play him out. Let's see if we can get away with doing good Branson here. Because getting picks, we don't really necessarily need the picks. We would have to give him something extra. I'm just going to see. I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm going to do this over Tanev, but if I can get away with that, maybe we want to hold on to Tanev. We do have a few thirds here. We want to hold on to some of them, though. We'll need role players. And the only, only things they want, we could give him Chicago's third. I mean, that's not going to have too much value. But that's not even close to enough to push that across. Like, nah, I don't think so. I'll try it, but I, I guarantee you it's not enough. So could Branson in a third for uh, Lily Grant? I don't think that's even close. Yeah. The, the value isn't sufficient. So, I mean, we could throw an hour third, but I'd really rather hold on to our picks. We'll need some role players for sure. Like, I... So I think it's got to be Tanev. We just don't have the value any other way. I mean, sure, we could give picks, but they don't want either second. The Our third is the closest thing we could send through. And I'd kind of rather maybe get some picks from for next year, like I was saying. So trading Tanev in there, then get, grabbing another pick. We could go Branson, could spot fill for a while. And we'll try to train up the rest of our defense. So that's what I'm thinking. All right, so... Yeah, let's just go back here and put in Tanev and get something else back. We could get something else back from him when we put in Tanev because he's still he got some decent value on him. Which, uh, yeah. I, I like him. I like, don't get me wrong, but you guys are saying that he drops off quick. And look, his defensive stats are freaking sexy, though. And he's got really good discipline for uh, how many penalties? Yeah, he's only got 18 penalty minutes this entire season. This guy's like a dream defensive defenseman, but all right. If you guys say he drops off, then he drops off. So... We'll throw him in there, and then th this will, should help us take a bit more. All right, um, and we'll grab a second from, like, next year or something like that, I think. That might be a bit much. Actually, that could go through. A second from next year, because we want a few more picks for next year as well. We want to spread out some of these. So, we're going to do this. Tana for Lilligren with the second. I don't know. I got to say, trading away Tana, I'm not 100% comfortable with. Hmm... He's really good defensive defenseman. He's only 28. Ah, oh, man. And Goodbranson isn't going to grow more. But if we want the pick, then we got to go through this. We'd have to give up something else. And we already tried the third. I mean, we could give up our third. It's not a huge deal. And we could find role players in the... Hmm. You know what? I'm, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try it. I know. I just... I don't feel 100% comfortable giving up a defenseman who's that good. If he starts to drop off, then he drops off. And we have to trade him anyway. But... For value-wise, we could, I don't know, if we can get away with it, I, I, I'd want to do it. I just don't, I don't know. I just don't see a reason to trade him right now. 
in, in, except for the fact that we want to take more. So if we try to throw in our third, that's closer. If that doesn't work, I'm not giving it anything more. Then I'll go back to the Tanev idea. But I would rather try to hold on to Tanev if I can. All right. So could Branson and a third for Lilligren. Will that go through? Okay, then no. All right. Yeah, it'll have to be Tanev then. Yeah. All right, I'm not giving anything more than that. Like, that would be, if that could work, then it'll work. But okay, so, sorry guys, I'm shuffling around. I just want to make sure I get this right. I don't want to, don't want to miss anything, so to speak. So, what was it, their pick from, uh, yeah, it was a second from next year that we'll try to get. We might be able to get a couple. So, I'll, I'll try to get as much out of them as possible. Maybe a second and a third, since we got two thirds this year. We get another second and another third from next year. That's probably too much, but we'll try it anyway. Tonda for all that, not quite. Okay, value isn't sufficient. We could trade thirds, but their third's not going to be worth much. Let's just remove the third, try to get Lilligren and a second from next year for Tanev. Not quite. Okay, we might have to settle for the third solo, which isn't uh, super ideal, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Or we can get two thirds, maybe? Maybe we can get the third from this year. We might be able to. Two thirds? That actually looks closer. If we can get two thirds, I'd be completely happy with that. Yeah, because role players are a thing that we'll need as well. All right, so let's try this out. Tanev for Lugan and two-thirds. There we go. I'm glad I got the two-thirds. Okay, so there we go. Uh, go to roster moves. And you guys are saying to play him immediately in the NHL. I'm going to say I'm not 100% comfortable with it, but if you guys are saying that's what we got to do, then I'll do it. All right, so bring him up then. Or is he already up there? Hold on. Is he already up here? Or is he in the... No, he's in the... No, he is here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five... Oh, yeah. Well, Bitsonek doesn't matter. Let's just go to edit lines and throw him in there, and then I guess. All right. This is what I've seen multiple people say this, so... All right. I'm not... I got I got no dog in this fight now. You will I don't necessarily want to move up, because I want him to play in his role. I do not want to mess him up. Uh, Hutton, I can move up. He's green. He's already 24, so... If we could get him somehow way above his role, then that'd be awesome. So I'll try that. I don't think we'll... He's he's a top four. So 85, 86, maybe 87 is as good as he's, uh, Hutton's going to get as the green top four. And I'd love to do that. But at 24, we're pushing it. So I'm actually going to play him in a higher role. Uh, Stetcher still listed to be top six. But he is top six naturally. 84, that's probably as good as a top six green will get. But if we play him in here, maybe we could bust him out of his role. All right, so with Trampkin, we're just going to throw in uh, Lilligren here. I've never done this, so, oh, man. Let's just substitute, and then we'll throw him in in a couple special teams places. Uh, power play, he's way better offensively than he is, oops, defensively. He's pretty bad defensively, to be honest. But I'll, I'll maybe just play him everywhere. All right, we'll play him a little bit on the power play, a little bit on the penalty kill, maybe. Uh, instead of good Branson, probably. All right, remove him. We'll put him on the power play. We'll, tr we'll play him a little bit everywhere. <laughs> this is going to be weird. All right, guys, I'm trusting you. This is on you. <laughs> uh, not the four, man. Penalty kill, maybe. Uh, okay, um, Stetcher. Oh, he's pretty good defensively uh, of the Trampkin. Hmm, Stetcher or Trampkin, actually. I should move up Trampkin. Yeah. And then Stetcher's a right. Oh, they're going to be both righties. Whatever. Penalty kill, they'll be both righties. Doesn't matter which side they play on, really. But I'll just throw them in there. Alright, and uh, there's a few other things as well. So I might just edit these out. Actually, screw it. I'll just keep this in. Alright. Um, three man, same thing. Move up Trampkin. And do this. And then there should be only in the uh, extras area. So like the four on four, three on three, three more. Yeah, it's just the extras now. Um, this, Hutton moves up. And then, was it Trampkin or... Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's you, Levy, who should be up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Yeah, I didn't move him on the extras, I guess. That's fine. That's not a huge deal. These are these are more rare occasions. Four and four is especially rare these days. Well, not as rare, but it's... I could You could technically say it's less rare than uh, three on three because of overtimes. At least maybe in the sim. Maybe. I don't know. You'd have to calculate the time spent in overtime versus um, the time like spent with two penalties happening at the same time. Because, yeah, the, the offsetting, 
I, I don't know. You know that's what I'm trying to say? <laughs> There's probably more three-on-three -three in today's hockey than there is four-on-four, -four, at least in this game. In this game, the way it's programmed, the way it sims, there's probably way more three on three than four on four, just because of overtimes. Um, anyway, this is extra attacker. I guess someone was in there. Berchi, they're not. A, no, they're on the same line now, so that wouldn't make sense. Um, let's just throw someone in there. You know what? Goldie's been pretty good. We'll throw in Goldie. There you go, Goldie. You're gonna be an extra attacker out there. You've been fantastic for us this year. Alrighty. And so that's what's happening now. Okay, we got Yule Levy in there. No more Tanev. We got Yule Levy. We got two extra thirds. One for this year, one for next year. We can maybe use some of those to trade up to a second round if we want. Or just draft some role players. Okay. I don't feel 100% about this, but this is what you guys are saying to do. So I'm rolling with it. All right. Playing a 68 on our NHL team. Let's see how good it gets. Hopefully it is good. Okay. Um, Sim here. Throw, throwing him to the wolves, man. This is the definition of, like, baptism by fire. My goodness. Okay. And we probably should do pretty bad after this. So, you know, that'll help our tank out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, defense should be worse. This is fun. <laughs> Eight to nothing loss after making that trade. He gained some morale for being dressed. Good. All right. Come on, Utica. Get your record back up there. I'd love to see Utica somehow steal a playoff. Ah, it doesn't look like it. It looks like they're falling back down a slight amount. But whatever, what can you do? And we're losing some games here in Vancouver, and that's good news. Because hopefully a better tank position, although, then of course we win a couple to get back into it. All right, yeah, Utica is still struggling. They're still at 29 wins. They've played a few games and got a couple losses, so that's not great. I'm hoping they can climb back up there, but it's going to be close. They're 30. Okay, th they're back at 500, so that's good news. I'm mostly paying attention to their record, but of course, our team's staying around 500 as well. Okay, where the hell was I scouting? I got to remember. Um, 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 all these A minus places. I went here. Yeah, that's right. And then some more A minus places. There's 20. Oh, wow, 21 there. Okay, um, six. I might be able to do five there. Eh. Mm. I'll have to do six weeks to be to be sure on that. Yeah, twenty one guys. That's that's pretty borderline to only do five weeks. So yeah, that's my, my rule of thumb. At least how I do it is usually for about every three guys there, I do like a week. That's kind of rule of thumb for me. I don't know if that's even close to being anything. <laughs> but then I also kind of will round up or sometimes round down. So like when you're scouting Canada, since there's so much there, especially you have to do six weeks normally. And some, but some of those guys are just trash, going to be undrafted guys. So you got to kind of hope you might have to scout him a second time for a couple more weeks. Um, try to even it out. Oh crap. Look at Utica. Hell yeah. Maybe I should quit talking about them and keep talking about whatever the hell I'm talking about scouting. I'm not even going to pretend I'm an expert at scouting in this game. That's just how I do it. And I've had relatively decent results in getting certain guys scouted. So, Hey, all right, lose, lose these last two games, man. And I'll be happy. There you go. Lost, so I don't care, man. 35, 41, and 6. That's actually a little better of a lottery position, hopefully. That's only a 76-point season. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Utica, did they make the playoffs? I don't know. They still have a couple games left. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Do I want to sim up there? Let me just end the NHL season. There we go. Okay, we'll end the season, and then we'll check on all the stats and things like that. And yes, I am not forgetting this time. I'm going to check the awards for last year as well. So I just wanted to do that. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to go to stats. Why did I? I always go all the way over there. I feel like that was maybe a thing in, like, NHL 15 where... Oh, I can't? What? Okay, maybe I can't check them. Oh, I'll be, oh I'm fucking... Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, the season ends. Okay, well... <laughs> fuck I, I had a perfect idea oh yeah i'll just check everything when the season ends apparently yeah it locks them out because they're going to be calculated my bad guys that was my bad but i did not forget all right just throwing that out there <laughs> okay all right we got last in the division and um how about in the entire league how do we do third third in the entire league that's not bad so we're guaranteed the fourth overall pick not too bad. Well, yeah, actually, we should be guaranteed the fourth overall pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, it's not too bad at all. All right, uh, I don't really care how we did our as our team, really. No, I actually don't, so. 
I'm actually not even going to look, look at that and just look at the... Horvat had a tremendous season. 72-point season on a bad team. Happy with it. 50 assists. There we go. Berchi got 20 goals as well. All right, 87. That might be what he caps out as, but as a green top six, that's not awful. 87, you could play first or second line. I'm cool with it. Uh, Louis Erickson had a pretty damn good season as well. Uh, 59 points, and then it really drops off. But Goldie playing third line had 44 points. He was a minus, which sucks, but whatever. Boser, still, he, it looks like he actually dropped a bit to 81. May, hopefully, that's morale. Uh-oh. I don't know. Might have been morale. I, he, he needs to get a jump. He should get a jump in the offseason, man. He's listed to be depth. I played him in the fourth line role. That's not too much. I know I could have scratched him for some time as well there. I might. Maybe I should have done that, but I don't know. All righty. Um, yeah, I, I need Godolbin to jump and Boser to jump. We need both of them to jump in the offseason. At least Goldie needs to get to second line. Boser at least needs to become third line. So he's 21. Goldie's 22. So, I mean, they're still young. They still got a few years. So, but we we need them to jump in the offseason for sure. Anyway, uh, Vertinen, don't know this guy. Just might. Actually, his defensive stats got slightly better. His awareness is getting there. His shot blocking is bad. And his stick checking isn't all that great either. So, I don't know. This guy might not make it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Uh, let's check out defenseman. How did Lilligren do? Uh, two points and how many games? He's still a 68 overall. Well, it's only 21 games. Hopefully he gets a jump. But I really hope he's not ruined. All right. Um, Hutton, pretty good. Oh, he actually jumped up to an 86 as well. Cool. All right. Uh, good Branson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yule Levy, still 85. Yeah. All right. Goaltender wise. <laughs> oh, shit. Vava Line had actually started to do a bit worse. Whatever, he was doing fine, he was doing great at the beginning, he must have had a bad or a couple bad games in there. I still think he should jump though, I'm still thinking he should jump, I'm hoping at least. I want him to become like a nice 83 backup at least, or something like that, 83, 84, that'd be, that'd be pretty good. Alright, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. HL season's not done with, but that's alright, I actually don't want to finish that, yeah, I actually kind of want to finish that up. Make their season finish, see if they make the playoffs at least. And then I'll do the entire league, all the stats and stuff for that during the regular season. Because those will stay. Those won't disappear. Unlike the awards. Okay, let's finish off the playoffs. Or, sorry. Get into the playoffs for the AHL. Please win these last two games, guys. Give yourselves an awesome shot. Get those 40 wins on the season. Yeah! Come on, guys. Get it. They gain locker room chemistry. Uh-oh. They lost the last game. They lost locker room chemistry. Did they make the playoffs or do they fail? Oh, they failed to make the playoffs. God damn it. Okay. Well, their season's over, right? It's going to say, all right, HL season is over. Unfortunate, but whatever. They they were not at that great of a team. <laughs> we took away a lot of them, or a lot from their firepower when we uh, moved up uh, Goldie and Boser. Oh, yeah, stats. Okay. So, now we're going to check out the stats for the AHL. And, yes, we'll check out um, around the league as well for the NHL. But first thing, I'm going to check out the AHL. All right, Roden led in points. Castles did pretty good. 78. Need him to get... Yeah, we need him to get better. We need him uh, as a, whatchamacallit, good third line center. I think he could. I've seen him usually get to like 84, and that's what you guys are saying as well. He usually gets to about 84. So that'd be good. That's a decent third line center. Uh, Hugh Lack is nothing. Uh, Vademo from... Yeah, he's getting slightly better. Hopefully he gets decent as well. Hopefully he gets a nice jump. And I think that was pretty much it for most everyone here. Oops. Defenseman. Mikola, yeah, he kind of stayed around where he was. And no one else really matters. Now, here's a here's a good one. Thatcher Demko. Good. They stayed around there. Thatcher Demko looks like he had a pretty damn good season despite the team itself. So did this guy coming in as a backup. Yeah. They both had tremendous um, seasons, basically. And Thatcher Demko, he did get maybe not as many games played as as you would like, but, you know, that's kind of, I feel, I feel like the HL has a weirder thing, like, even when he had the 68 in there, he felt like he was playing a lot of games, too, but anyway, that's 50 plus games played for Demko, that's not too bad, and this guy came in and did tremendous as a, as a backup, so, yep, he, he'll, he'll be fighting for the backup role with Vava Linen. Demko should get a decent jump in the offseason, and he should at least be a, ready for a backup role next year, maybe even a starter role, 
We'll see. We might have to get a spot starter. We might have to sign someone in free agency or trade for someone who can start above him for a while. Just, just so we can play in the backup role. And we don't bring him along too quickly. Alrighty. So that's the AHL. Now we'll check out the entire league and theorize who's getting what. Tarasenko looks like leading in points with 95. All right, 95 points for Tarasenko, 92 points for Stamkos, then Tavares, Kane, Kucherov, Taves, uh, Castle, Crosby, Ben, yep, all this kind of stuff. Nail Yakupov. <laughs> okay. Nail Yakupov with 81 points. He, he must have been playing with freaking Tarasenko. No, he couldn't have. He's a fucking right winger. Unless they, no, they might have put him on the on the other side. I hope I hope that's the case because Jesus. All right, um, there's McDavid only with 80 points. Come on, man. Lagging. All right, um, let's see. Goal-wise, I think it's Tarasenko. Yep, Tarasenko. Assist-wise, Backstrom was 62. Tied with Stastny. Okay, yeah, the Blues must have had a tremendous season. Pretty crazy. Thornton had a lot of assists, and he was a minus two. Good job, Sharks. Uh, plus minus was Stastny. Okay. All right, who's, uh, let's see who's the most clutch. I see 12 game. Well, yeah, Tarasenko, then Dubinsky. Okay. All righty, let's see a defenseman here. Let's see who's the best defenseman. Point-wise, I look like Justin Falk. Amazing. Justin Falk may win a Norris here. Although he is a minus one. I would, personally, I'd give it to someone like Morgan Riley in this case. Of course, you can't really judge a guy because he's a minus because Carolina is a shitty team. And the Leafs are actually relatively decent, I think, even early on. I'm not too sure, though. It's It'd be close either way. But, yeah, that's how I would judge it, at least. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you never know. Falk had it. That's a really good year, though, for him. Pretty much carried the Hurricanes to whatever their me mediocre record would have been. All right, goalie-wise, we're gonna <laughs> definitely not going to be any of us. But, hey, let's see. Let's see who's looking like the Vesna. Lungfist. All right, Talbot. Pretty good stats. Dubnik looking like the best so far. 2.22. Save percentage of 0.925. That's looking solid. Schneider's okay, but yeah, I'm thinking it looks like, no, oh, no, nope, nope, Dubnik. I'm saying it's Dubnik, yep, definitely. Yep, Dubnik looks like the best Van Vesna candidate, so that's who's going with. Who led in wins, though? Vasilevsky, okay. And he had a decent save percentage and stuff like that, too, yeah, but Dubnik, there, he was tied with Dubnik, so I think it's no question Dubnik's getting that Vesna. Definitely. All right, uh, rookie skaters. Let's see. Who's winning that Calder? Barzal, most likely. Yep. Pretty much by a long shot. Wow. Great year for him. Godolbin didn't do too bad. I mean, he was a minus 11, sure. But there he is, sitting in fourth amongst rookie in points. And he's only at 82 overall. Nylander is as well. Damn it. <laughs> so, oh well. But still, third line. I bet you Nylander's playing like, I don't know, actually. Buffalo. He might have been playing second line, but I don't know. Might have been playing third as well. Doesn't matter. Goldie almost got 20 goals as well. That's pretty cool. Any standout goalies here? Rookies? Probably not, but we'll check. Ooh, hold on. Yeah, actually, Eric Comrie. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. Even 46 games played. Yeah, that's actually... It's actually going to be close. Dude, look at his eyes. Fucking calm down, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's actually going to be close between this dude and Barzal. But I think with how many points Barzal has, I think you got to give it to him. I don't know. They both are really good freaking solid the next closest guy would be like omar in the stats wise he only played 15 games Su malcolm suban wasn't bad but only played 20 yeah dude comry eric comry it pretty good all right so i think that pretty much takes care of it we didn't make the playoffs with that we kind of didn't expect that a bit unfortunate that our ahl team didn't make the playoffs but you know, they were teetering on the edge the whole time. And like I said, we took away a lot of firepower. Their goaltender situation at the end was the only thing that brought them above 500 once we put in those two good goaltenders. Because before that, it's just not enough firepower. And you could see in their point totals, too. I think the leading point score was like a 60-something point guy. Yeah, not enough offense. But in maybe not next year, but the year after for sure, we're going to have a lot of good rookies coming up through there. Or a lot of good, you know, development coming up through there. Anyway, we'll get through the uh, draft in the next video. And, hey, maybe we, we win the lottery and get lucky. <laughs> but if not, we're going to have at least the fourth overall pick by the looks of it. Unless the second or the the second spot or the first spot wins the lottery. Then we'll just stay at third. So we're either going to have the third or the fourth or the 
or yeah, third, fourth, or the first. So, hey man, we could uh, we could get lucky, or we might get bumped back a bit. But we have a lot of picks, and we'll figure it all out there. So a bit shorter video than uh, some of the other ones, guys. But hey man. There wasn't too much to do in this one besides make that awesome trade. So let me know what you guys think. Remember to leave that like and I'll see you guys in the next one.